my prayer this morning, God, is that you shift us, God, from praise to worship, God. God, my prayer, God, is that you move us, God. God, move us from a place of being on our feet to being on our knees, God. God, move us from a place of praising you, God, to surrendering unto you, God. God, we submit unto you on today, God. First Peter chapter 5, First Peter chapter 5, verse number 10, it simply says, and after you have suffered a little while, the God of some grace, the God of all grace, who has called you to his eternal glory in Christ, will himself restore, confirm, strengthen, and establish you. Somebody say amen to the reading of God's word. That's the type of hunger I'm talking about. It's part four of our year of elevation series. I'm a teacher and I'm a preacher with a thought in our hearts and our minds. Crash and burn. Crash and burn. But why, why, why else does God allow suffering? Let me help you because God, God allows suffering to teach us obedience. And I love this in Peter, and you see this even in Mark's gospel, that they, 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 they lift before our eyes, and they show us the suffering servant. And what, did he, what is he doing? He's showing us the fact that Jesus, who knew no wrong, Jesus, who never sinned, Jesus, who never did anything wrong, he himself had to suffer. So the point is this, and it's so plain, that if my Savior had to suffer, and he did not do anything wrong, then why do I feel like I shouldn't have to go through anything? He allows suffering, look, to show us who and what we really love. And what am I saying? God will let that trouble come and hit your house to show you what you really love. You ought to love your spouse. I love my wife. If my wife leave me, my wife cheat on me, or go out there with Rick, pretty Ricky, I'm on my heart going to be broke. Y'all going to have to come find me, scrape me off the ground. Oh, but can I tell you, after a while, I'm going to be all right. You ain't going to tell me because it's Camilla Jean Nesbitt is not my God. Oh, no, my friend. Oh, I, she, she going to hurt. She going to hurt if I do the same to her. Oh, but, I, but she going to be all right because I'm not her God. Oh, well, there, there needs to be a relationship with God. More so than your spouse, more than your kids. Your kids, you'll take care of them. You'll slave for them. The most snotty old rascals, soon they get old enough, they'll shoot your bird and go live their own life. But can I tell you, they can break my heart. But every time they break my heart, he'll put me back together again. Y'all don't want me to preach in here. <laughs> God, God allows suffering, listen to this, to test the validity of our faith. You want to know why you're suffering, child of God? God trying to see what's the validity. It's one thing for me to say, I believe God. I trust you, God. I give myself away so you can use me. It's one thing to say that. But God will allow us to go through things. James 1, 2, he said, count it all joy, my brothers, when you meet trials of various kinds. Oh, anybody experience some trials? It isn't, this ain't the same trial I dealt with before. But God will let us go through a multi, a multifaceted kind of trial of something I've never seen before. Verse 3 says, oh, for you know that the testing of your faith, it produces something. Steadfastness, Lord. God lets you go through some trouble and go through some trials because he's trying to sure up your faith. Oh, God allows suffering to break our grip on this world. Oh, come on, people of God. You want to know why you're struggling so? You love this world too much. Oh, this world is not our home. You know why we're struggling so? Because you got you got your mind wrapped around Louis and your mind wrapped around all these clothes and all this stuff and all this stuff that the world seeks and try to go after. But God said, no, I want to break your grip of the world. I want you to keep your mind on me. I want you to keep your focus on me and he'll break my grip of the world. That's why, that's why we suffer. I'm trying to help y'all. God allows suffering to cause us, here it is, to turn to him. God wants us to turn to him. God don't want me going to a man for my stick. God don't want me to have to smoke something to feel better. God don't want me to have to drink something to feel better. I don't need nobody else to do with the only job that God can do. And God will allow all of that to dissipate. He'll allow all of that to go away so I can turn. I can turn to him. God will allow suffering to motivate us. Here it is to cry out to him. Isn't it amazing? You don't pray the way you need to pray until you need to pray. <laughs> Isn't it, isn't it amazing? You, when, when something really hits your house for real, you know, you could be you could be walking. You got a little sacred little prayer place. You just walk by it every day and every day. Let you be going through something. Oh, God. Yeah. Oh, God. And now all of a sudden, nobody got to ask you, have you prayed? Oh, yeah, I've been praying. Oh, yeah. It's something, it's something about trouble that makes us cry out to the Lord.
on behalf of everyone at Truth and Love Ministries, we want to thank you for joining us for our virtual worship experience. We want to thank you for your likes and your shares, your comments and your emojis. But we also want to invite you to partner with us as we continue to be the hands and the feet of the Lord Jesus Christ. You do know that he told us that we ought to feed the hungry, we ought to clothe the naked, and we ought to be the church. And you can help us to continue to do just that through your generosity. And there are three easy, safe, and secure ways that you can do just that. You can text the word T-I-L-JAX, one word, T-I-L-JAX, to the number 77977. You can go to our website, www.truthandlove.tv, or you can go to the Apple Store or the Google Play Store, search for Truth and Love Jack, download our app, and you can give that way. We thank you for your participation. We thank you for your generosity, and we love you, and we'll see you next time. Here comes the church. God bless you.